<laughs> One parry too many. Huh? Connected to the real half mine. Let's see that in an instant replay. You see that Ari has three bars. She parries and loses a bar, is successful and gets that bar back. Again, she parries and loses a bar, is successful and gets that bar back. Then she parries a third time and loses a bar. The reason why I was able to hit Ari is because she parried one too many times. And this created a small window with which I was able to punish Kevin. Ari Super, from this distance, would only need to be parried twice. When you parry and it doesn't, well, parry, you lose a bar. And if there is an attack that can connect once that bar is gone, it's a punish counter. From what I was able to mess around with during Alpha Lab, Ari's projectile is the only one that needs to be parried multiple times. Even those supers that have multiple hits only need to be parried once. Some supers when parried get a special type of guard crush animation, but you can still cancel dash, jump, or run after you parry to get in closer if need be. So one thing to look out for with Ari super is to not back dash or you'll toss yourself back into a super. Also you need to make sure you parry enough, just once and you will get hit. Raw supers in this game are looking to be the worst possible idea, because when your opponent is running, it looks like the best time to toss out a super, but you can parry during a run. Nope. 